Hey everybody, I'm going to just do a quick, uh, give you a quick look at my Crossman 1377. Uh, it's mostly stock. Only thing not stock is a steel breech here. Um, but I just wanted to show you the operation of it. You see a lot of videos of uh, modified ones, but you don't see a lot of videos of them that are anywhere close to stock. Uh, the scope is a Leapers Bug Buster 4X. Um, this is how it goes. Pull up the bolt handle, pull it back, that cocks it. What I like to do is hold it in my left hand, point it down, just drop a pellet in there. Usually it just falls right in the right way. Push the bolt forward, down. I put the safety on next. This little guy here. Then pump it as much as you want to. And point and fire. Now the trick, uh, this is going to sound kind of stupid, but the trick to pumping this is, first of all, your pistol grip hand, keep it back here and don't have your finger up here because eventually you'll have that finger there and you're going to slam that that um, forearm down on it and it hurts like crazy so keep all your fingers down here and on your other hand I don't know if you can see but make sure none of your fingers overlap this little curve here and go onto the top there or you'll pinch them in there and that also hurts like crazy uh, you do it once or twice and then you'll realize what your problem was a lot of people like to replace this part with a, a custom wood part, but I just like to watch my fingers and, you know, keep it looking pretty much stock. Three pumps is, uh, you know, in the 300 feet per second range, 350. Five pumps is right around 400 or 420, about the same speed as a CO2 baby pistol. Up. Oh. This is, I think, uh, the easiest way. Left hand, hold the bolt. See if you don't hold that bolt, it falls right down. Drop a pellet in there. And that's it. If you, uh, if you put it in there flat and then try and push it forward with the bolt, it gets caught in, uh, in the screw hole. So. I'm going to make sure, try and make sure I stay on camera here. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Just give, see if I can give you a close-up of the scope here. This scope is actually kind of, you know, I don't know if you can see it, but it's it, this scope is goofy big for this pistol, and it hasn't got very much eye relief. If you shoot with this, you got to either accept that you can only see the very middle of the sight picture, or uh, or hold it right up close to your face, so you got a BSA 2x20 coming for it. Um, I think that's about all all there is to it. The uh, the stock grips, um, they're not bad. Some people complain about them, but they're, they're ambidextrous. If you're right-handed, then there's this nice little groove here. Your finger kind of fits in there. And then on the other side, it's kind of a thumb, a thumb rest here. Not a super aggressive one, but it doesn't get in the way on your offside either, which is kind of nice. So uh, in the future, I'm probably going to do a, a solid pin here and then a flat top piston and valve, and we'll see how it goes from there. Thanks for watching.